who we really are is the subject of mindfulness. Mind always works best for objective reality in the realm of science, but mind has no clue for the subjective reality, and we are embarking on a journey. Being comfortable, looking at the neck joint, shoulder joints, just looking. Looking is not doing anything. So when we start a journey with an understanding that who we really are is at the center, deeper within. We don't need any effort. That is why it is effortless journey. But remember it is a journey. It is not a destination. Being comfortable looking at the neck joints, shoulder joints, feeling the sensation. If there is any discomfort, undo it. being carefree. One of the many ways of being carefree is to change the direction. Looking at the world, mind is crazy. Looking inside, the craziness drops. Looking outside or inside has nothing to do with an effort. So here the principle says the right perception. When we are lazy, when we are crazy, when we are anxious, we need to do nothing. We simply change the direction. one element to understand and that is what I say carefree. We are anxious, the mind wants to do something, it wants to avoid, reject, escape, fight. In that particular moment you change the direction, do nothing and start looking inside. So what happens? Thought comes and goes Feeling comes and goes, sensation is there, it drops. That is the key to being carefree. Another way to understand. We are embarking a journey to the mindfulness based on the original teachings of the Eightfold Noble Path. And B. Casual natural. Being casual and natural. Samyak Smriti. Right memory of who we really are. We have many memories and that right memory is the state of mindfulness. Master us to go into a dark room where nothing is visible and return and tell everyone what is in that room. He returned and said there is nothing. Master said who knows there is nothing. You were there. 
that you we discover in mindfulness. Being comfortable, being carefree, and being careful. In that state, <coughs> a little modified way of moving into the journey, it is only the first lesson, it is not the end of it. We'll explore all the eight noble parts. Look at the head and the neck. So this time we pay little more awareness and attention on the physical. As if you are looking on the head and the neck, being there and experiencing the sensation, relaxation and the stillness. When we experience the sensation, relaxation in the stillness, not created, we are moving the mind within. Look at the right arm, sensation, relaxation in the stillness. It comes to the right perception with a right intention. Where is the right desire? To know myself. Look at the left arm. Just be there on the left arm and experience the sensation, relaxation and the stillness. Look at the rib case and just be there as if I'm just there with you and then I see you. When I see your body, I see it is still. But then you have another subjective experience of the sensation. Here is the body. How do I know? Here is the sensation. Oh yes, I feel relaxed. And there is also a stillness. It prevents the mind to manifest habitually through the physical. Look at the right leg, sensation, relaxation in the stillness. Look at the left leg, just be there. and experience the sensation, relaxation in the stillness. It is a 6,000 years old journey. But had refined those practices, created it for principles, entire body. Right perception. The body is lying on the mat or sitting on the mat. Then there is a body 
and we have an experience of sensation, relaxation and stillness. There is nothing outside in the world that is causing me or you any kind of reaction, hesitation at this moment. Experience this moment with a reference to the sensation, relaxation and the stillness. There are many ways there are different expressions, there are different steps of mindfulness, but fundamental remains the same. Going within, living within, awakening within. Now look at the breath. The breath goes in and out, feeling the sensation and no change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. In the previous practice, in the previous journey, we use this awareness of the breath with reference to a movement from outside to inside. But in this journey, we are using the breath awareness, so, so, so to say, to help the mind to live within. So the right perception in the state of sensation, relaxation in the stillness, you are looking at the breath going in and out. You are feeling the sensation of the breath. And there is no change. We can say, for the sake of understanding, the entire journey of mindfulness is to drop the wrong perception that leads us to the right perception. That is the first step of first noble path of Buddha with the right intention and that intention is to maintain an awareness that we are embarking a journey to discover who we really are. We are looking at the breath, feeling the sensation of the breath, no change, but in the state of sensation, relaxation in the stillness. in the state of awareness of you and me, here and now. And in that state, do not change the rate and the rhythm of the breath, but start counting the breath. The breath goes in, just drop mentally in one. The breath comes out, out one, in two, out two. 
we are counting the breath in order to continue the attention on the breath thereby preventing the influx of the thoughts. It's a natural prevention. Not by any effort, not by control. So today we are counting the breath to prevent the influx. In the previous practice we accepted whatever the thought comes, thinker is there, the memory, we say it's okay, let it come and go. But it doesn't mean here that we are controlling. Any thought comes, we return back to the counting. That is the key. Continue counting the breath. So here we discover when the mind falls into the wrong perception. The moment we forget the counting, wrong perception. We do nothing. We continue to be aware of the breath, return on the breath, and start the counting again from one. Continue. To be aware of the breath. Continue counting the breath. in the state of sensation, relaxation and stillness we are counting the breath Drop the counting of the breath. Continue to maintain awareness of the breath in the state of sensation, relaxation in the stillness. <clears throat> when we were counting the breath, counting is objective. And let us discover the container of this breath that is going in and out. In the state of sensation, relaxation, and the stillness, 
of the body, the room is the container of our bodies. What about breath? Explore that. Breath goes in. We become aware of the space. The breath comes out. There is a space. Is the space container of the breath? And if the space is the container of the breath, where is the container of the space that we will take up in our next journey to the mindfulness? But at present, there is an awareness, the room is a container, our bodies are inside it. Breath going in and out, and let us explore the container of this breath that is going in and out. Is it inside? Is it outside? We don't think, we explore. And that becomes the journey to the mindfulness. We become aware of the space inside and outside at the same time. The breath is going in and out. I'll speak for a minute or so. Just continue to explore. But I'm still with you. And now we are in a state of doing nothing. Consciously recognize the mind is still interested in exploring. It doesn't want to return. That is a good state. Let there be peace, peace and peace. We are not in a hurry. Bring your mind on the right palm, your mind on the left palm. Raise both your palms, place it on your eyes. Open the eyes inside. Know your experiences, bring the hands down, let us share our experience.